what's up everyone welcome to a new video in this channel so today in this video i'll be showing you how you can make your own custom esports style mascot logo in adobe photoshop i'm using adobe photoshop cc 2020 you can use any of the versions available out there so let's begin so as you can see on my screen the adobe photoshop has been opened and i have already prepared the sketch for the mascot logo so let me show you the sketch so here you go it's a beer mascot logo that i have planned to make so this is the sketch as you can see and this was this blue color one was the base of the sketch and this one is for the mascot it's a slightly modified as you can see with some gaps maintained as uh, we do in normal mascot logos so as you can see this is the basic base of the sketch as you can see and here is the what do you say sketch for the basic mascot logo so we'll start with this and as you can see it's a symmetrical logo i also made with the symmetry feature of the brush here as you can see this is the symmetry I will use vertical symmetry and you can also draw like this to maintain symmetry so what we will do is we will first move on to view then we will add a new guide and we will add a guide at 50% which will be a vertically central guide so let's make that so once we have done that what we do now is we will select on the paint tool now make sure you make a new layer on the sketch of course we won't be using the sketch layers because of course why will we use that right so once we take our pen tool what we do is we first zoom in and we'll do the vector making for only one side and then we will be flipping it we'll be duplicating it and then flipping it to complete the whole glow so let's start from here this point and we click on the other point now as you can see a straight line has been formed so don't release this point okay you just drag this point and here you go you end up with the curve now if you click on this point the curve will go in some other direction so what you need to do is so I'll just revert this first and now press alt and then left click on here to cut the previous curve once you have done that you will be moving to the next point and will be repeating the same process so let's do it for the remaining points now as you can see over here it's a big circle circular type thing and if you place the point over here you won't be getting the exact curve so what we do is we will put our mouse pointer at the center of the large curve and we'll just drag it now we will cut it again and then put the mouse over here and just curve the remaining so let's now complete the rest of the logo so now as you can see I have completed the the top part of it now what we have to do is we have to join this so this is the last point of the whole path now we'll click on here and we'll be completing this whole path now as you can see if you look carefully very carefully you'll see that it's not proper straight line now what you can do is you can click on this direct selection tool and then take this point zoom in and just perfectly place it do the same thing it should be exactly on the guide so that you don't have any pixels left blank when you are flipping it after duplicating okay so once we have done that as you can see the border or the path actually is ready right so let me show you the path we'll just hide the sketch for a second and there you go you have the path for the top part of the bear mascot logo now let's complete the remaining of it but the remaining of it should be in some other layers because of the color you can also put it in the same layer but i will be keeping it some other layers so 
for that first you have to convert this into a vector okay so how do we convert it we simply right click it and create vector mask once we do that it will create a simple vector mask over here now we create a new layer and then we do the remaining things which will be this part and this part the teeth will be in another separate layer the nose will also be in another separate layer and the tongue will also be another separate layer so let's start with this parts So as you can see now I have completed all the vector masks so let me hide the sketch and this is the layer where I have put the teeth here is the nose then we have that uh, what you see the front face part whatever it's called and this is the top part and here is the nose so we have all the parts ready right so now what we do is we will fill in the colors but before we do that i'll be selecting a dark background which will be dark blue which i have thought to be dark blue will change it if i don't like it so i'll be creating a new solid color layer and uh, let's choose a color which will be looking good so this is a pretty dark blue color now what you can do is you can bring the sketch up and do uh, references or whatever you can do but what i'll do is i'll be taking this and we'll be checking it first so, so this is the nose so it will be uh, some sort of gray so we'll take the gray color and we'll just fill it now we we'll can change the color anytime so there's nothing to worry about so this is the top part now we'll be keeping that um, brown color So here we have the brown we can change the color I think I need to increase the saturation of the color a little bit that looks quite good so this is a front part which will be a little uh, yes this color then we have the nose which will be grey and uh, then we have the teeth which will be white and now I see I made a mistake I colored the tongue grey so we will be changing that to red real quick so we will keep this for now and we'll be changing it if necessary later on so now let's see this color we'll be changing it to some other brown colors so we have got the color and it looks quite good to me right so now let's start with the shading now you can duplicate at this point if you want the shading to be different but i'll be keeping the shading same because it's a uh, you know it's a basic mascot logo so we'll keep this shading same on both sides so just let's just start with the shading so what i did here was create a new layer above this part and then click on right click it and click on clipping mask. so what clipping mask does is if you take any other color we'll just take green just to show you and if I paint it, it will be painting only on this part. It won't be painting on here. That will be helping us for the shading. So let's just delete that and create a new layer again. Take our 
pen tool again and we'll be drawing the shading parts so do the shade according to your choice how you want to do the shading so let's just do that real quick so i've completed this part so now again we right click on it and create a vector mask it's the same thing now we select this color and we create a we sorry we take a darker version of this and then we'll paint it simply like that and as you can see the shading process has already began so now what we do is we take we click this again and we'll complete the rest of the shading the rest of the dark shading that we have to do now we'll be moving to the lighter part of the highlights which is not shading actually it's called the highlights so for that you can use a lighter shade in my case i'll be using white because that will really highlight the edges and for me that looks quite good it will be completely based upon your choice so feel free to choose what you are what you want to do if that will be clear white or that will be normal uh, not lighter color of the main shade so i'll be choosing white once we are done with that we'll be moving to another layer so we'll move to here for now which is the tongue layer we'll create a new layer and create clipping mask on it and then we'll move on the shading part which will be clear and simple choose this color take a darker shade or you can choose a darker hue even make sure you have done the vector mask and then do the shading so it's done for that now we'll be moving to this part so we'll do the same process so we have completed the shading of the teeth also now let's just uh make it a little darker yes so we have done with that now we'll go to the nose but for the nose i'm thinking of doing the shading in a different manner which i will be showing you in a while so we'll just keep this the nose layer at the top and we'll be grouping this whole layer we'll be shift clicking we click on the first layer and then press shift and click on the last layer so all the layers have been selected now you can group it but i'm not using the group i'll be using uh, i'll be converting it to smart object because that will help me later if i change the shading so let's convert this to smart object so that has been converted to smart object now i'll be duplicating this using control plus g and then transform this flip this horizontally and we'll be placing it perfectly at this place so as you can see it has been joined i just hidden the guide so now as you can see it has been there and you can see a line in between but that's a a render glitch you can see so don't worry about that that will be gone once you export it as png so now what we do is we'll be looking onto the nose part okay for the nose part we'll be duplicating this again as we did earlier also we'll be flipping this horizontally bring back that guide and we'll be keeping it right over here so that's again in the center properly fit properly right yes so we have this so now we'll be doing the shading but as i said i'll be doing some different kind of shading so we'll be selecting both of this layers converting this to smart object so 
the nose piece becomes one now we create a new layer do the clipping mask and we start with the shading so it will be a non symmetric shading and that's what i was trying to do so that color looks good now we take another layer and we do the highlight part so there you go we have the nose we'll change the highlight a little bit so there you go there you have it so it's basically the mascot logo that we made now we'll be changing this blue color to a more darker color you can keep it ultimate black also but uh, i don't like total black so i keep a little shade of blue now you can add flare in the eyes so let's do that real quick for doing the flares i'll be using my graphic tablet to draw the flares so let's do that So there you go, I have drawn the flare as you can see and now I will be vectorizing this so it's the same step we create a new layer now I am not using this because it has some rough edges and the clearing of that will be harder than making a new vector layer so we will be creating a new vector layer and we will be doing it so it's the same step you know how to make the vector layers now we can delete the the sketch uh, the sketch of the flare so as you can see we have done this right over here now what we will do is we will simply duplicate this and we will be flipping it horizontally like we did before we can also put it in the smart object but i just flipped it normally as you can see make sure it's placed perfectly and there you go you can also change colors of whatever you want and if you don't want and uh, like i don't want any other color so that's it now if you want you can group all this layer together let's name this mascot and then if you want we can resize it do whatever we like so that's it for this video if you want the part 2 where i can show you how to make the text the background the shield for the logo make sure you drop a like and do comment in the comment section only if you guys request then i'll be making the part 2 else that's it for the logo tutorial see you guys in the next video until then bye